right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we bring you back to back updates and information as it is hot uh in case you have not joined our social media handle what are you waiting for kindly go ahead and subscribe to our channel like comment share you uh, you don't shell it for Obodo. Uh, the information will be say there for my table now. They say, Oh, God, who pulls on them? Jordan, they run. Who? <laughs> they say, Who pulls on them? Man, no longer sleep. Who run into Abuja for help? Labor Party candidate Atan Achono. Now, they talk this one. <laughs> How the man take Nyokopusan? Eh, yeah, me, I don't know. Uh, but now the information will be say there for my table. They say, Oh, God, who pissing? <laughs> they say, The man don't collect your man, Jungwa. Uh, you know, say you get some things where we say you go see, uh, you go no say that and pass you. The best thing where we say you go the good for you now, now to collect your money and run for your life first. <laughs> they say he who, who fight and run away live to fight another day. They say the man don't turn, the man don't viam, the man don't walangele, the man don't pionke, the man don't jump. <laughs> they tell them they don't agree. Uh, now it don't happen. Uh, they, they cry, they, they shed tears. What be this? <laughs> Me, myself, I don't know. Make a carry you go to the information. Uh, Pekin, I always say, Mama, no go sleep. That Pekin, no go sleep because as you they keep your mama awake, uh, you go there awake and I make your mama no day, make your mother awake. Uh -huh. But if you sleep, your mama no go, your mama go sleep. If you don't sleep, man, now both of them go day there, and both of them go still suffer the sleepless night. <laughs> so you better. Uh, make we leave violence, follow peace. I see the go Senator Atan Achono of the Labour Party, who is running for the governor of Imo State on November 11th, has claimed that Hope Uzodema, the state governor, has been going to Abuja on a regular basis to get assistance. According to leadership, Achono made this claim during a campaign rally in the Ehime Mbano Council, claiming that the Okibwe zone should produce the state's next governor. On the basis of the Imo Charter of Equity, notable Okigwe sons like Tony Chuku and former Governor Ike de Ohakim support Hope Uzodema's re-election. Speaking at the event, the LP candidate encouraged the sizable gathering to vote on election day and stay put until the results were announced. She also, he also said that people shouldn't be afraid of anyone because the state is theirs. I am not here to campaign. He declared, however, I am here to inform everyone that, as I am currently the governor, Governor Hope Uzodema no longer slumbers. <laughs> he knows that on November 11th, I will flush him out of Douglas House. So he runs to Abuja every day in search of assistance. Please pardon our brothers, Tony Chuku and Ikedo Hakim, who are endorsing Governor Hope Uzodema based on their personal interpretation of the Charter of Equity. <laughs> Now the one, now the gege, uh, where we say, if they go on now, now the gege, they say the man know they sleep for, uh, for uh, Imo State again. They say the man don't trauma, say the man don't vian, the man don't kurukere. Waiting the pursue him, <laughs> we don't know, but uh, he get to this talk, I say, oko konyoara, hmm? Oko konyoara, ala chowe also. Uh, maybe the man don't nyoara. And I don't know you also, but there is one significant thing I found I found out uh, during this Imo State 2023 election uh, that is coming up. Uh, if you are very observant, you will find out that uh, if you have been to Owe recently, because recently I've been to Owe, I think I've been to Owe like three times recently. Um, I think between uh, between October and November. Between uh, September and October, I mean to say, I've been to uh, up to three times. And um, I found out that a campaign is currently ongoing. November 11 is by the corner. And I scarcely see any other campaign poster except that of APC and that of Hope Uzodema. And I started making inquiries to understand why things are going this way because it has never been so. The state is for everybody, at least everybody. Does it mean that there are no other candidates that are contesting for the post of the governorship of elect, uh, or governorship position in Imo State? 
And I find out that the governor imposed a fine of 54 million for whosoever that wants to put his uh, poster bill in Imo State. So for you to do that, you have to pay 54 million naira. You could imagine that. <laughs> you could imagine what is going on that for you to uh, put your poster bill, you have to pay 54 million naira to the government of Hope, Ozodema. And um, when I had this thing, I started making research to make sure that what I had uh, was the fact and not that I'm trying to jones myself. And um, to my greatest surprise, my people, my people, I found out that this is true. <laughs> so if you doubt me, uh, anywhere where you are, if you enter car, if you enter Okada, if you book, book flight, enter Imo State, you go see, say, the person will be say, uh, and things they there, and only one person know, uh, no other person thinks they there, and only one man. <laughs> I've been uh, yeah, say, I never see before but now to bring me bo. Allah saw ka ya saw ya na osa. He go show you say the government where they now this APC government now wow. APC una they try you I say up una, up una now na carry the matter uh, because if to say na so they they do politics since where politics start for Nigeria. Especially from the rebranding of 1999 constitution to date, uh, I don't think that these people that are in position of government now, uh, that power will be able to reach them. Because by now, those people of those days could have, uh, you know, entered into monarchy or anarchy, or authoritarianism, change the or maybe change the, uh, may change the constitution to communism, and make it that maybe they will be in the position of office for 20 or 30 years, one person. Uh, because the way I'm seeing the dancing step of APC, my people, <laughs> uh, those people can do anything. You know, today, dear, oh, uh, many of them are desperate people. And um, the the recent government now, the recent thing that is happening now, go to Anambara. Uh, Soludo said he's giving the youth about is it is it two billion or two hundred billion? I can't remember, but it's something within that range. Uh, for the youth, about 5,000 youth. Then I'm saying, this money you want to give to the youth, why not use this money and build a factory that can equally employ more than these 5,000 youth that you want to give this money? And um, to me, I think these people are mismanaging the government fund because this, this 2 million or what million now is more like some people said is audio money, is what people have not seen. And um, how are we sure that we are going to know the address, the names, and the homes of this or the, of the people that is going to take home this money that the state government have provided for 5,000 youths? Now, when you look at some of these things, you begin to wonder, if you go to Anambra recently, you find that there are a lot of roads that need maintenance, common maintenance. If you take it from Bo Junction, up you work at, to Mpua Junction, to Ogidi, 7th mile up, you find out that there are a lot of potholes that need to be fixed. A lot of these things are there, and um, the government is not doing anything concerning it. Rather, they are channeling their, their energy to other things which are not supposed to be so. Of course, had it been that, you know, they did things the way it's supposed to be, I don't think that anybody will be suffering. So I think that all this money that government is giving out, let them use it and build one factory good factory for that matter that can be producing something and the youth the other educated allies the youth both educated and uneducated those who can work with their brain those who are strong to work with their hands can benefit from it yes they will benefit from it you give them employment you make sure that you don't even if you need to employ foreign personnel that need to manage the company for the first time so what you do is to call them. Maybe after five years, after passing the knowledge uh, to your state youth, they leave. But the government of the day is not even thinking in that direction. What they are thinking is chop the money, squatter the money. <laughs> PDP, share the money. Uh, PDP, where we say that they do share the money, it'd be like say PDP government better <laughs> uh, because they, they share the money, they work. But the people with dinner, my people, I don't know how I go carry them out. You can. But make I rewind the curtain here. 
Uh, in case now your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, you kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop, you'll be the first one we'll collect. And thank you for listening. God bless you.